The Canadian border runs straight through Derby Line, Vermont, through streets, through homes, even through the library, where patrons enter in Vermont and browse books in Stansted, Quebec. This is really a town with a, an invisible border going through it. That makes Derby Line a tempting target for immigrant smugglers. Federal officials say apprehensions of people sneaking down to Vermont have more than doubled from the 132 last fiscal year. We're actually seeing more people uh, attempting to, to exploit these vulnerabilities. It's not as busy here as on the southern border, but officials say the smugglers are just as sophisticated. Very well organized. Um, they have scouted the area. They have scouted us. Um, basically, we're not dealing with the JV team. It's, it's the varsity. People sneak down through nearby woods or past the flower pots that mark the border next to the library. Officials believe some fly up from Mexico. Once across the border, they are a day trip away from Boston and New York City. In recent years, thousands of asylum seekers from other countries have walked from upstate New York into Canada. U.S. officials blame the southbound surge in part on Canada allowing visa-less entry from countries like Mexico and Romania. There may be also be some uh, folks from Mexico who have decided uh, that they would rather not bear the, the, uh, the drudgery of trying to get across the desert. Many crossings take place at night. Those who see suspicious people say they call the border patrol. And I do have a soft place for them. I, I, they want a better life. They want something better, but do it legally. But the U.S.-Canadian border is 5,500 miles, and smugglers continue to test this vast and rugged stretch. Michael Hill, Associated Press, Derby Line, Vermont.